I'm going to start with a little presentation. My name is uh, Håkon Kavli. Uh, I work as a digital uh, communications uh, advisor uh, at Questback. Um, previously, I've worked much at uh, support, uh, technical support uh, here at the Oslo office. Um, so uh, some of you might know me from there. Uh, the last couple of, uh, or the last year I've been working mostly with courses and community, uh, providing content uh, and also some online webinars like this one today. Uh, we are gonna look at um, some of the new uh, features today uh, and I'm quite excited for showing you guys around the new um, let's see the new um, import questions functionality so uh, looking at the table of contents today uh, my agenda is uh, how to copy question alternatives from clipboard uh, we're gonna look at how you can import questions from quest this is a brand new feature uh, after that, we're going to look at how you can import questions from file. Uh, and I think we will have enough time for some questions and answering uh, or, or a little Q&A session uh, at the very end of today's session. Um, the plan is to uh, go on until um, approximately around two o'clock. Uh, I've saved the time uh, i think i've asked you to to save the uh, um to spend the, the day with me until quarter past two but we'll see how far we get with the the content so uh, if you have any questions uh throughout this session be it about uh, the stuff we're talking about or something else please let me know in the chat uh, and i'll make sure to keep an eye on what's going on there. Uh, so welcome everyone. Uh, I'm really glad that you tuned in to this session. Uh, we're going to start with creating a new quest. Uh, and I'm going to name this quest. Uh, wait, I'm just going to create the quest from scratch because we're going to play around with the import functionality today. So I think will be good in terms of uh, numbers of questions and whatnot. So uh, the first step is to create uh, a new um, quest. I'm just going to name it um, import questions quest. Uh, and in this uh, this quest, I'm just gonna uh, give an, an internal quest comment for others to use this for copying cool questions. The reason for me putting an internal com comment is uh, most uh, mostly for other other users on this. Uh, account of mine to to know that this is a quest about something they might use it for a purpose so this in this case it is for uh, copying cool questions could be questions about something uh, I mean this is just a test uh, so I might say that it's a test only uh, and off I go to uh, designer. So uh, the first thing that I will try to do is fetch a list of something. So uh, so let's see. Uh, if I can get a little list here. Um, so 
So yeah, this is a wild list. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm playing around with several tabs now, so I'm sorry for that. But the point is that I want to ask my respondents using um, a single select dropdown. Uh, what is your favorite pet? And I could of course start going dog, cat, bird, etc. Uh, but the whole point of this session today is that I want you to start using this paste multiple answer alternatives from clipboard alternative, which looks like this. So instead of writing down each answer alternative in the text box and then, then going through the whole click click thing, I can paste multiple alternatives from clipboard like this. Um, so this is a quite short list. It has only three alternatives, but I think I'm gonna try to fetch this list from of all domesticated animals of of uh, Wikipedia, and this this might be messy. Um, uh, and that's sort of the point. Uh, so in the next step, I will g go through um, Excel just to tidy up the list. I know from previous experience that typing, importing a lot of stuff off of the internet, I might get more information that I want to. Look at this, it's, there's pictures and whatnot. So I looks like I'm even crashing my Excel. So sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Then I'm just gonna copy everything in this um, column A. I can head back to Essentials and Designer. And now, so that, just so I don't get like dog twice, I'm gonna uh, delete all answer alternatives. This is a great tip if you have, if you work with this in several rounds and you don't get it right the first time. You can just simply delete all answer alternatives and start over. Because once I start pasting multiple answer alternatives from clipboard, this link list will get quite long. Uh, and yeah, there's also some annotations and whatnot, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna keep it like this for now uh, and we can try it try and add it and look um, see how it looks uh, the list is quite long uh, so I'm defin definitively going for the question type single select drop down so that once my respondents have chosen their favorite pet the list collapses uh, so I advise you to use this uh, single select drop down type question type every time you have more than say seven, eight or nine question alternatives because it, it just works way better if you have a long list of question alternatives. Uh, okay. so. Uh, looking at the preview for my quest right now, um, I haven't addressed this, but um, I haven't, uh, since I have the GDPR functionality on, I would need to comply and then, then get to the first question. What is your favorite pet? Uh, and wow, look at this. It's not usable at all. Uh, it looks like this question alternative is um, disturbing the whole view here. So uh, 
What I could do then is, of course, find a better list. Um, I could go back to Excel and then remove remove the stuff that is too long. Let's see. Not gonna use the pictures and stuff, but yeah. Uh, as you can see, this 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 might get messy unless you have the list prepared in advance. And I'm sorry for not uh, paying attention to my own tip in this sense. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the, these first, wait, these first alternatives uh, from dog down to ferret, that's 26 alternatives, uh, that will suffice uh, for now, but the point with this, uh, this um, whole um, this whole demo was to show that you can easily uh, paste a lot of information at once using the paste multiple answer alternatives from clipboard functionality. Uh, so like this, and then I can go and refresh my preview. Ready, please. I'm just gonna open a new preview. And then you can see now that yeah, the list is somewhat disturbed by this answer alternatives, but now I can easily choose at least dog, yak, horse, cat, or guppy, whatever that is. I wouldn't actually know. Uh, so that's importing question alternatives. I want you to use this um, um, this feature uh, in cases where you're creating a quest from scratch or you need a new question and you know that you have a long list of question alternatives. And then instead of adding each answer alternative manually like this, for example, uh, squirrel and then go something else. You could find a list that works and then import it. Uh, so uh, what if you have multiple questions that you want to import or reuse? Well. Uh, we used to have a functionality called import questions uh, under other actions but this as of yesterday has moved to uh, the add section and then import questions. Now you actually have two options for uh, importing or reusing questions. You could either go uh, to an old quest and copy one, two, or several questions for that matter, uh, using an old quest and just fetching the question text, the question alternatives, etc. Or you can do as we used to do it, copy it from file, uh, and then prepare your questionnaire in Excel in advance and then import it. So um, just I think I'm going to start with from quest. Uh, so it says that uh, this allows you to copy and reuse one or several questions from any quest which you have access to. And this is key because whenever you want to reuse a question, uh, this question could either be used in a particular quest that you made 
but it could also be made by other users and if um, as long as they have shared a particular folder with you or they have shared uh, a given quest for duplication so uh, the difference between that is um, this owned by other users quest this might be available for you to use because they 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 lie in a particular a quest folder that has been shared with either all users or shared with you uh, sp specifically uh, whereas this shared for duplication uh, uh, stands from a feature that we uh, released uh, this winter um, that you can use uh, for each new quest even old quest if you go to access rights and then tick on this share with other users for duplication. Uh, so what this essentially mean is that whenever a, a quest is shared for duplication, other users uh, can go and create a quest uh, and then find other existing quests like my import questions quest. If I wanted to reuse this and the, what's your favorite pet question I could have uh, found this here now uh, and then either copied the whole thing or uh, using the import questions from quest feature uh, just fetched one question uh, so uh, so I'm just gonna uh, just for the sake of demonstrating it i'm gonna reuse this quest now uh, duplicate it i'm gonna rename it uh, import questions uh, fun quests uh, so the whole point about this thing now is that I could go to designer and then now that I at least have one question, I can also go and import other questions from previous work uh, if it fits. So I, I press the import questions button, I, I press uh, from quest and then, um, then I can go and find some other questions that I want to use. Uh, for example, this switching subjects now, but effective working during the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, so I'm promising. You can see if I, if the title of a given question isn't telling, or the question type of, or you need, uh, let's see some some other. Uh, clues for uh, what a given question is about before adding it to your quest you could preview the whole thing so that you get uh, you get to see how your given questions work uh, so then uh, then I can decide that, yeah, I would like the first question. I would like uh, the second. I might do without the third one, but I would like the fourth and the fifth one. Uh, then I can add it. And then as you can see here, uh, all these new questions will appear in the same list. Um, so I could essentially go and import more questions from other quests as well uh, and this is where the import questions fun quest begins because this will be um, a total mess of um, several different quests uh, questions and I don't know if I go uh, and see what my colleagues uh, 
have uh, made. Uh, let's see. For example, uh, yeah. I can see uh, if, yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time about this, but uh, maybe I can find uh, something in English, um, something from a quest back template, and then uh, an employee satisfaction survey. Um, and I can find some job requirements questions, cooperation questions, etc. So the whole point of this is just that you can cherry pick questions from previous work uh, without much hassle. So the new couple of questions will be found at the bottom of the list. Then if I need to switch things up and add page breaks, I can do so. Uh, copy them. Uh, and then move them around if I need need to so like that so um, I really want you to uh, to uh, play around with this new feature import questions and import questions from file and um, what's cool is that um, if you know for sure that you you often tend to ask the same questions in different quests, uh, you might start uh, uh, working with sort of a question bank, um, uh, a quest with common questions that you often tend to ask uh, your um, your. Um, um respondents so uh, so this might actually instead of being a import questions fun quest it could be uh, my question back for example uh, then If I want others to be able to pick from this question bank quest, I would need to go to settings and again, uh, maybe write an internal quest comment. Use this to reuse common questions we ask or and then insert target group, for example, customers, um, employees, etc. So uh, that's that really, uh, import questions from um, quest. Um, the next thing I would like to show you is that you could also uh, import questions from a file and this is where it gets uh, often a bit more, uh, what should I say, um, a big thing about uh, this import questions from file thing is that um, used right. Uh, I, I suspect that most Essentials users um, can save a lot of time uh, knowing this feature and using it correctly. So um, I remember from uh, working at support, um, uh, sorry I'm just gonna grab some water. But working at support, um, a typical sort of statement coming from uh, you customers and users of Essentials was that I'm doing a quest for a colleague about something. Uh, and I know, uh, I sort of like figured this out um, 
over time that it's quite common for a lot of Essentials users to uh, to do some uh, research uh, on behalf of other colleagues that uh, don't have access to Questback Essentials or don't know how to use it as well as you guys do who use it frequently. So uh, if you ever find yourself in the position where a colleague approaches you and says that uh, well, I'm going to need to do a survey in a couple of uh, weeks or days time and I really want you to help me with it. Um, I want you to take a step back uh, and and uh, think about this session today. Uh, and what, what was it Håkon told me again? Yeah, because what you can essentially do is to tell uh, your colleague that asks you for this favor that instead of you uh, uh, in the case of this being a new quest with questions that have never been asked before and and thus you can't import them from a previous quest and instead of you reworking previous qu questions from a template or previous questions from other quests that you've made, I want you to start importing these questions from file. Uh, and that said, I, I don't want you to, to, to use uh, a lot of time on putting each question in Excel and whatnot. I want you to give the template of importing questions to your colleague and then have your colleague structure uh, the questions in the right manner and then if you're lucky, you can just press, and once your colleague is finished, that is, you can just press create quest, uh, create from scratch, import questions from file. And then in the next step, you will be able to go to designer, press add, import questions, select file and this is where you can retrieve uh, your template you can open it in excel uh, one moment i'm just gonna open my excel in the right screen so the template looks like this uh, there's a lot of different colors. There's now all uh, question types that we boast in Essential supported. Uh, so there's a lot of information here, but uh, don't mind that. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna show you really easily how you can create and make a sim simple import from file operation. Uh, and what you would essentially need is something that looks like this. Doesn't have to be like this at all. Uh, but the formats are explained here. So if you're creating, uh, I'm just gonna take the simplest example that I know, uh, an open question. It would look like this. Uh, just gonna name this my questions uh, so rename correct my spelling error so I wanted a question that looked like this uh, sorry copy and then paste so the idea is that Using column A, you will need to, to keep uh, the right uh, code for your question. Uh, and right below, you would need to uh, input your actual question text. So in my case, this will be please comment. Uh, then this other fields column b um, that's reserved for a default text that's uh, say the question was uh, 
please uh, explain why you please explain your uh, choice of favorite pet uh, and then column b you don't need to use it but if you wanted to use it this could be for example uh, uh, i like oh sorry i like dogs because uh, uh, etc something and then this other columns is only if you're gonna use uh, some write something in your um, in your um, um, additional information etc so uh, okay so so now I have a simple import file I'm just gonna save this um, let's see import file uh, I'm not 100% sure where I put it so yeah, it's in downloads. Okay, perfect. So I, I head back to essentials uh, and now I can select the file. Uh, my import file. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Open, next. Uh, and then you see I missed some information here. It says too many columns used for this question. Uh, and it looks actually like I um, imported this field instead of this one. So uh, just to give it another try, I'm going to paste um, paste this. into my new file and I'm gonna try over so import file 2 uh, but this is an excellent demonstration that it's not like too hard to import questions if you don't get it right you could simply just try over uh, looks correct and then open next and then I get my open answer short question alternatives but if I wanted more space I could have chosen an open answer long and I would give my respondents 4000 characters instead of 250 characters to state why they chosen their favorite pet uh, so please explain your choice of favorite pet and i have a d default answer here i like dogs because of their fluffiness and it might be fitting to import questions and fetch uh, fetch the favorite pet question as well so Question one can be, what is your favorite pet? Uh, question two can be, please explain your choice of favorite pet. Uh, and if you want to uh, get really uh, creative, uh, you could, for example, add a page break here and you can reuse the selection in question one uh, like this. Uh, so this is a bit advanced use but I guess you're here to learn uh, so uh, 
just gonna refresh the page so that I'm sure that I have the what is your favorite pest question. Please explain your choice of favorite pet. Then I can fetch the Q and A tag of this question. Uh, looks like this. And I can replace this code. Uh, and uh, I can replace the, the example here with the actual code. Uh, so it will look like this. If I go to test and publish, test quest. Uh, what is your favorite pet? Uh, in my case, uh, I could lie and say uh, my favorite pet is horse. I'm actually scared of horses, so that's a lie. I like horse because of their fluffiness. So it might need uh, some, uh, or I guess uh, this is, would work better without the Latin name. Uh, but of course, if I choose squirrel, I like squirrel because of their fluffiness. Might have had the actual alternative in plural, but you get the point. Uh, so, um, uh, I started rambling about you having your uh, colleagues uh, using import file uh, to save some time for you. Uh, so, say that you know or your colleague wants to ask a certain question like uh, in which department do you work instead of your colleague writing and preparing a word file or a long email and then sending it over you you can ask your colleague and hand your colleague this template and say that if i'm gonna do the quest for you you would need to prepare your questions in this format um, and hopefully your colleague will get every question right uh, and whatnot. So, so in my example, this uh, could be uh, finance um, support um, sales uh, R and D. Uh, then, for example, marketing, and uh, let's say um, yeah, that's good. Those are not enough examples. So I would need this question. I'm gonna put it in this import file uh, and as you can see this is this has a uh, a certain code so it might be uh, say that if, if I didn't want a single select vertical um, instead I wanted a drop down I could have chosen this code and then uh, replace the single select vertical uh, code. Uh, so the SSH instead of SSV. Uh, doesn't really uh, matter too much though, because once you uh, import your questions, from your file, you can always play around with uh, different question types. Uh, but use the codes if you want to get, if you're 100% certain of which question type you prefer uh, and you want to choose it right away. Um, but if you want to play around with it, uh, you could of course go 
Uh, now this isn't right. I would rather like single select vertical instead of horizontal. So you could always um, use this preview here uh, at the second step of the import questions from file to 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 get um, to come to terms with yourself uh, about which question types you would like to use. Uh, does it make sense to have this as a multiple choice? No, but it would be make sense to do it as a horizontal, single select vertical, or maybe a single select drop down if I had numerous question alternatives. So you're quite silent in the chat. Let me know if you have any questions uh, or I'll just continue. Uh, but to build on this example, uh, it could be that you needed to add several questions at once. And that's the whole idea with this que import questions is that you can e rather easily uh, um, have a lot of work. <laughs> Um, imported at once. So, uh, which department do you collaborate with? So, so uh, if I'm going to import this question too, which department uh, do you collaborate with the most? And uh, now that I already have question one and question two, um, I could um, go to import questions and of course uh, add this new question once more. Uh, but if I'm only going after one question, it doesn't make sense to to import other questions. Uh, so instead of importing the whole file, I can just paste data and get my one single question in there. Which department do you collaborate with the most? Uh, like this. So now... Uh, yeah, and of course, all this talk about this had me forgetting about actually importing that question. So add import question and then from file, paste data. And one other thing, you can actually use this paste data if you, if you already have the, the file structure like you want, you can copy the whole thing and then go to paste data. You wouldn't need to upload file in that case. And this paste data also, um, I mean, it's both uh, use, useful if you are only looking for importing one question or if you your uh, folders at your computer is a total mess and you cannot get to or find your excel sheet easily or etc so i could go on for days about scenarios but you might get the point uh, so now that I, now i would uh, have a question in which department do you work and then a question which department do you collaborate with the most uh, and i could of course reuse uh, the information given here so that finance is only shown the question alternative finance is only shown to those that doesn't work in finance uh, etc so of course you collaborate with your own department but which other department you collaborate with the most and I could do the same for support only those that 
that work on any other department than support are allowed to say that they uh, collaborate with support most. Uh, so just to sort of demonstrate what I did now, uh, I'd say that I work in finance and then finance won't show up here. I say that I work in, uh, let's see, I say that I work in support, every other alternative than support shows up here. So this is a bit side point, but this is how you can use routing on question alternatives effectively as well. Uh, Malin asked me in the chat if I have a template to share with you guys. Um, uh, that's an interesting question. Um, uh, in theory, you already have access to the template that I used now. Because uh, if you go to designer, and then press add and import questions, in the next step, you select from file. Uh, here you get access to a template. Download Microsoft Excel worksheet with examples uh, of all question types. So uh, Marlin, if you want uh, a, a complete template of all different question types, I, I advise you to uh, download this and then add maybe add some examples for yourself uh, i'm not sure if you really need these examples as this might be better uh, but excellent question though uh, let me know in the chat if you really want my questions that i've created now uh, or else i would leave it with you downloading this template instead. Uh, so how about more complex question types? Yeah, so um, these were all quite simple questions. Uh, say if I wanted to import uh, a matrix question, like for example, uh, state uh, or how satisfied, this is probably difficult for you to read. Uh, welcome Josefina or Josefine. Uh, if this doesn't make any sense to you, uh, right now you could, uh, of course, replay or start from around one o'clock uh, uh, and then you get the whole thing. Um, but of course, if you want to hang in with, here with <laughs> um, the presentation where we're at right now, you could, of course, you're welcome to see this part and then see the first part in um, later. The recording of this session will be made available uh, using the same URL, essentially. So, okay, so I'm gonna create a new question. Uh, a single select matrix. I want to ask my respondents, how satisfied are you with the following? Uh, and then uh the answer alternatives is in question uh, in column b like previously uh, so this could be uh for example um very unsatisfied and then i could go uh unsatisfied um, 
meant to make this big. Uh, you might need a neutral or somewhat dissatisfied. Um, then satisfied. Uh, and then let's see then of course the fifth answer alternative will be very satisfied um, so uh, then in column C, I would state my actual um, my actual um, uh, dimensions or the the sub questions that I want to ask my respondents. So, so this could be, for example, uh, uh, Hawkins examples. Uh, it could be Hawkins um, press. Uh, I would know uh, Hawkins uh, uh, skills. Uh, the webinar in total, for example. So uh, now I could either copy copy this question and paste only this, or I could of course also uh, save a file with only this question. Maybe I would like a page break as well. Uh, looks like this. Page break right in front and after the questions then i could go uh, back to essentials add import questions uh, now that i have a file or a, a clipboard uh, piece of information I can go to next and then either find my file or I can paste this data uh, and yeah I get the sense here that uh, I got somewhat more stuff that I needed so uh, this didn't turn out right the page break worked uh, I could go back and then make sure that I only copy this information as I'm not going to use this. this. These are only for guidance. Uh, but if you import, um, use the import from file and then select the file, the wizard will actually disregard any information in column uh, G H I or later so so it's not no problem that this information stays uh, as long as you keep this part tidy um, so I head back uh, I could of course try uh, to work with this but it says too many columns so then it will fail uh, previous and then I select everything delete it and then try over uh, now you can see that this um, this looks like I get my desired page break my matrix single select and then a page break so I could of course choose any of these two other question alternative uh, question types too that fits with uh, the given setup uh, or structure uh, from the Excel sheet. Uh, 
Uh, I press add and then at the very end of the uh, list of questions you see that I get a new page break. The how satisfied are you with the following? Uh, I could state this uh, as uh, with the following parts uh, of today's webinar and then if I wanted to display this as slider I could do so make it start at neutral then I can go ahead and actually go to test and publish and test the whole thing uh, what is your favorite pet? Let's say it's chicken. Please explain your choice of favorite pet. I like chickens because of their uh, yellow color, for example. Uh, Oops, I forgot to answer in which department do you work? And then which department do you collaborate with the most? And then I can state my satisfaction with today's webinar. So um, this concludes my demonstration. Um, and this, I hope you sort of got a nice introduction to the new import question um, alternatives. Uh, wait, I hope you got a nice <laughs> introduction to the um, import questions from quest feature, which is brand new. Uh, the import questions from file feature, which uh, is improved and then we started, of course, with the import questions from Clipboard, which has always been there, but is a bit uh, hidden uh, in plain sight, I guess. But uh, I really want you to start using it. So uh, just uh, make some tests for yourself and play, play around with it and see if you can um, come to terms with it. Um, so, uh, we could of course uh, reiterate uh, what we've done. So we started with question one. We copied uh, this long list of uh, answer alternatives from clipboard. Uh, so instead of writing dog, chicken, etc. Uh, instead of doing that, I could uh, go to my list of uh, question alternatives, which I keep in my clipboard somewhere uh, like this. Then I could see if it looks right. It's okay. Could be better. I could, of course, uh, tidy up this a bit. So, and then I could add all these alternatives at once. So that's the point with import questions from question alternatives from clipboard. It's a really smooth way of importing a long list of uh, question alternatives, but it could also, you could also use it to import um, sub questions for uh, a matrix type of a question alternative, uh, a matrix question type. Uh, What's more is that we, we looked at how you could now import questions from, from a separate quest. Uh, 
for example, a question bank that you or some other colleagues or essentials user uh, builds up uh, for others to use. Like this question, what more could your organization do to support employees in the context of the coronavirus, for example? Um, then of course, um, now at the end we imported questions from file using both the ordinary, ordinary upload file option and the paste data from clipboard option. Uh, again, uh, I strongly recommend you to download this Excel worksheet with examples and then make a couple of examples of your own. And especially if you're, if you find yourself in this situation where a colleague approaches you and asks you uh, with his prettiest smile, can you please create this quest for me? Um, make a condition say yes i could do so i could very i would be happy to help you with creating this quest for you but only on one condition and that is that you structure uh, the questions and question alternatives in the following format in the in excel and pass me the file at the very end and i'll gladly uh, make it an essentials quest uh, so that was that. Uh, if any of the content today went too fast or you want to revisit it, use the same link uh, and replay one of the sections. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them uh, both here in the chat or in the comment on the video. Um, for those of you that registered for today's um, session you should also have the opportunity to give me feedback uh, from the registrations confirmation mail uh, and also you 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 should have access to uh, nordic academy at questback.com mail so uh, please send me any comment or question or reaction to any of those um, um in any of those challenge uh, channels sorry uh, so that's that con concludes today's webinar uh, make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel so that you always get uh, notified when we have new webinars or new tutorial videos uh, or other webinars about um, um non-essential stuff we, we do a lot of webinars on uh, feedback culture uh, um, HR and experience uh, employee experience stuff so make sure to tune into our YouTube channel uh, and also check uh, check out our community which has uh, uh, a lot of content to help you uh, to success with essentials like for example these webinars tutorial videos faq articles and the user forum we also keep some groups uh, if you want to ask questions in uh, your native uh, language uh, see if you, one of these groups fit you um, thank you for tuning in i hope to catch you around the next time around um, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day and evening. Goodbye.